Whew. It's just a little cold out here. And the temperatures are dropping day by day as we get closer to winter. And I'm out here in the cold. Everybody else is in the warm. I think they're in there, it's about 75 degrees or something like that. The kids are in there working on homeschool work. And uh, Sayla's probably doing some of her language arts. Josiah probably reading or something like that. But she loves to read. That's good. And Micah, she's probably up to doing some type of project or crafts or something. It's just how Mike is. Lacey's in there editing video. And uh, on occasion, maybe getting a little bit distracted <laughs> from other things like social media, which we all do. I look at it way more than I should. But one of the things that we have been trying to do as a family is to reduce our exposure to EMFs and uh, just uh, electromagnetic toxins that are out there. So Lacey's added a, a grounding mat under her desk while she's editing, which is really good for us to make sure that we ground because we are electrical beings and uh, I'll be doing some grounding as I'm working out here as well with touching the ground and moving some dirt as I'm going to be working on uh, working on this project that I should have started a long time ago but it's just the way it is usually you just don't get projects going necessarily when you want them to go so I am building a raised bed here on the upper portion of our homestead where we can winterize or overwinterize our chickens. So since our property is on a slope, I'm gonna to need to make a retaining wall and then we're gonna heavily mulch this area where the chickens are. So I'm gonna get started with working on leveling out this block so that way after I level it out and get it set up here, then I could add in some of our, our compost, leave compost and some mulch for the chickens to have some just nice healthy bedding. So that way uh, the terrain is healthy for them. Here we go. Alrighty, so I have my first corner up here as well as the part of the first wall. Uh, ultimately, I'm not sure how high we'll go because uh, we are working up a slope now, especially as we get closer to working up towards that direction. But uh, one of the things that may bother me with my OCD is I'm working with two different types of block. I have this rough face block here, which I really, really like, and then this smooth block here, which is just your standard block and probably a little bit cheaper, but hey, I'm working with what we got. So my father-in-law who's worked in construction pretty much his whole life and masonry line of work specifically is a master craftsman at laying block and brick. So this may not meet up to his standard as far as how I'm doing it <laughs> to my technique here nor to the end goal of how to look. But I'm not building a building here. I am using the block to assist me in producing more food as well as helping the chickens as well helping provide them with uh, an area for for the winter and then they can also in turn work with us to produce better food and the block is just assisting us to do so so i do need more block so i'm going to see if sale is ready to come out and bear the cold and drive the lawn tractor around with me so uh we can go pick up some more block So the front tire on our tractor keeps going flat. So I ordered a flat free one to put on. However, I got the wrong one. So it's right here, narrow. Somehow I ordered the wrong size. So we'll send this back, get a new one, because um, we're tired of doing this. So thank you for doing it, Sales. You're welcome. All right, so what we're gonna do now, once you're at the tire, whoop, it's done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna load some more block in here so I can continue to work on our area. So if you could drive the lawn tractor and meet me on over here. <laughs> yes sir, and I can't wait to get a flat free tire. <laughs> So 
So there comes a point when you really need blocks that are like half this size cut horizontally. Sometimes you also need some that are cut vertically. But right now, as you can see, I really need one that is half this in height. Because I either have, if I have to get a full block in there, it's gonna require me to dig a lot deeper. And I need to do that for a few more feet. And I really don't wanna do that. So I need half a half block. So thankfully I have some right here. And this should work perfectly right here, just like that. Just a little adjusting, but that's a lot better than having to keep digging. Alrighty, so I think I'm gonna call it a day with laying the block. I didn't get as far as I would like to have done, but I have made some pretty good progress. So I've gotten it laid from here and all the way here and then up there. Ultimately, I wanted to do kind of like a U shape today, but we're gonna have to get some more block. I got all the block that I'm gonna be able to use and this is a pretty good stopping point for today. So I just have this left, kind of come around here and then up there through here, kind of where the white Indian runner's going. Still got a bit ways to go, and uh, looks like here at the back, we're just kind of seeing how it slopes and where I'm gonna need to go. I think I'm gonna have to add another course of block. So at some point, it's gonna probably be three courses high. And uh, I'm not sure if you can hear the machine working in the background, but we recently got some new neighbors that purchased a lot of the, the acreage that we were trying to get some of and uh they're they moved out of the city and uh they're trying to figure a way to figure out what to do with the land they just knew they needed to get out of city the city and uh start something out here some homesteading to some capacity so we've met them and hopefully uh maybe we can find something to, to uh, kind of connect with and collaborate on we'll just have to see but um one of the things that i was doing with the with this area here is i want to i'm leaving the area open a grass path ultimately i want grass to grow here and then right here we have our fruit trees growing so i could just take my uh, chicken tractors right through here and just run them through the different grass paths here in this section so that's the goal as well as having growing food inside this containment area here uh greenhouse that we'll set up so we'll just keep plugging away but in the meantime i think i'm gonna have uh Police officer Josiah <laughs> helped me out with, we're gonna move the fence on the outside of the block now. Uh, so that way we can, uh, the chickens can move around a little bit easier and we can begin adding some, uh, some compost and uh, some bedding for them. All right, police officer Josiah, you ready to help me out? Yes, sir. So we're just gonna move this fence on the outside of the block, okay? Yeah. All right. So after we move the fence, next Josiah and I, began the process of creating deep bedding for the chickens by adding some leaf compost that we have on site. We also moved a nesting box that we had been using a number of months ago in the old area that we had the chickens in. And where we moved the nesting box from, the soil there looks excellent. It just shows you the capability of harnessing the characteristics within the chicken. Man, it feels a lot warmer in here. A lot better than outside. Whew. Still have a number of things to do with that project. I wanna finish the block and then hopefully really soon I can start putting some hoops up and then we can put the plastic on and start getting them some warmth and to continue to build upon the deep bedding there and really make that area really fertile for growing things next spring. Speaking of, speaking of next spring, I've, I've gotten some advice from both Joel and some new friends that we made with Austin and Heather. And I am considering opening up an opportunity for someone to come here and be an intern. There's so, there's so many things that I could use help with around here that we all could, 
with all the different things that we do and uh, it could be an opportunity for someone to to learn from we can pass on some skills to somebody else so if that's something you might be interested in let me know I think I'm gonna create some kind of application and then some kind of process of of kind of figuring out interviews and stuff like that but uh, it will be a process but let me know in the comment section below is that something you might be interested in let me know well I think we're gonna call it a day uh, like I said I didn't get as much stuff done as I would like but it's time to call it a day besides it's dark outside and I'm hungry see you next time see you next time <laughs>